Everybody, it's first time I'm Ricardo Lightborn. This one goes out tonight to the Knowles family down there in Thompson's Bay in Long Island. I'll be mean, coming down to Regatta for you. Me and Ghana can have us a good time, buddy. The Royal Bahamas Police Force, a fun run walk hell over the weekend with a start and finish at the police headquarters. A super event, folks, and thumbs up goes to the police. Before any strenuous activity like a run and walk, it's good to get loose. How about some jumping jacks? Okay, lift those knees up, limber up those muscles and those limbs. Let's go to the start of police fun run, walk and a good start at that. Okay, even the bike getting this one heading onto the mall from the police headquarters. Keith Hanna took the race early and the run segment and Keith is off and a steady pace. Don Lang and the boys chasing Keith south on the mall and losing ground. Here comes the walker, smiles and tells the story that a healthy way of life and participation. That's Teresi Depindo on the walk. Setting an example for a healthy lifestyle. Someone else, uh, slow down, Keith, please. The police run walk was a part of the Rob Bombers Police Force community effort, and the community responded in a positive way. Keith Hanna had no competition and a super run to support the Rob Bombers Police Force. This one also was one for the camera. Watch Darrell Ware and Co. with a super finish and not a drip of perspiration to show. Be careful of these hackers, please. Okay, that's Cliff Bow. He's coming in the second place finish. The third of the competition and third place finish here. You can celebrate. Also keep in mind, folks, that a strong finish and an early morning run. Okay, cheer on the runners and the walkers that are coming in strong. Here's a conversation of the walk of the day. Delroy Booth decided not to run against Keith Hanna. Was Keith too much for the runners? That's a big question. Young lady getting in uh, her finish and the conversation goes on. Delroy, here's a question. Are you afraid of Keith? Okay, either way, the competition in the race was what that counts. The award segment was very exciting for the competitors. Runners and walkers with the hardware to show for their effort. Uh, they walked and run in New Providence as well, and Grand Bahama had fun. Great organization of participation from the community. Added dimension to health fair in the police headquarters. Blood pressure checks, glucose, and cholesterol all were available. A healthier Bahamas is the aim. Royal Bahamas Police Force did exactly that on the weekend and a wonderful effort. And total education formulating plans for a super Easter weekend, folks. The planning stage of the Easter Sports Festival at the Hawksville our Community Development Center, March 24th and 25th. 14 teams participated in this one. They've got applications out there ready. The Center Administrator, Charlie Softy Rubens, has the layout of the two day event. On the 24th will be a uh, basketball jamboree, a uh, softball jamboree, table tennis, which will be taken uh, right here at uh, TC, a pool tournament, which will be played right here, a TC volleyball game, which will be played right here, a TC, a Junkanoo parade, which will take all of the Hawksville area. The sports events on the drawing board is a number of social community events. Uh, the Hawksville community folks will be rocking. That says Shani Bo. We're inviting everybody to come out, especially for the community fun day. And the fun day will feature a fish fry, a John Canoe parade, as well as an Easter concert. And you know we're famous for our John Canoe parade. So again, we encourage everybody to come out and bring your family and friends. And again, it's March 23rd and 24th are the dates for the Easter Sports Festival there. It's going to be great. And all the Grand Bahama, you're invited to go down to Hawksville Community and have yourself some fun. That's your sports on a Monday. That's it.